purpose. And for that, I would like to invite Janab K. Rahman Khan Sahib, Member of Parliament and former Union Minister for Minority Affairs, Government of India, please come and uh, bless us with words of appreciation. We know time is very short. Rather, we have no time now. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Honorable Justice Jagdish Singh Kahar. Chief Justice of India. Honorable Justice M. Ahmed Isa. Honorable Former Chief Justice of India. Dr. Manzul Alam Sahar. Dr. Mrs. Arab, Professor Zaydin Khan, Professor Abdul Wani, Professor Umar Azam Kasun, distinguished delegates from India and abroad, ladies and gentlemen. After listening to Justice Kher on a very important <coughs> subject which every one of us are concerned, that is equality, justice and fraternity in contemporary India creating a better tomorrow. I don't think that I can add anything more to the subject after listening to the speech delivered by Justice Kher, a well research paper which he has read. And a person who has, as a justice, has upheld the rights of the citizens in India and today, as he said when he was practicing, his entire focus was Article 14, 15 and 16 of the Constitution. And that is the essence of our Constitution. That is the soul of our Constitution, which brings everything of this today's subject. He has elaborated, I will just say that, we all, all live in an unequal society. The society itself is, as he stated, is unequal. And it is very difficult to define what is equality, what is unequal. That is why he very beautifully said, justice treating equal as equals, unequal as unequal. So it is very difficult to define equality, but yet that is, is the for every common man and for those who are to create that feeling of Dignity and equality among citizens is left to the state. That is why our constitution gives adequate powers 
under Article 15.4 and 16.4, through the affirmative action to whatever a common man understands, equality and equal opportunity as a citizen. Rightly said, we are a independent country, we have 70 years of independence and we have a constitution and we are proud of our judiciary. Probably we cannot even imagine if we had not independent judiciary, what will be the life of an ordinary man in this unequal society. I am thankful to Janab Mansur Alam Sahib for organizing this conference on an important subject which experts are going to deliberate. It is a kind of, I can say that this is the mo most debated subject on, in the contemporary India. From a villager, the highest intellectual is concerned and it is right time that we all to protect our constitution, our constitutional rights which gives us, which all of us believe, equality, justice and fraternity. And that is the hope of all of us and every citizen of India. I thank Mr. Dr. Manzur Arno for giving me this opportunity to express a few of the thoughts. Thank you very much.